protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. Now, we go high up into the Derbyshire Peak District, the Lime Tree Park campsite near Buxton. This is Lime Tree Caravan Park. We're around about a mile off Buxton, a 20 minutes walk. We cater for about 55 touring pitches altogether, most of which now are taken up as seasonal pitches. We cater for a dozen touring caravans. We are actually ideally situated for everything in the Peak District at all. Everyone's on hard standing. We have the option of putting them on grass if they require going onto grass, but most of our grass areas, as you can see, round about here, they're for tents. With everyone has electric hookup at this area of the site. With magnificent toilet block over there, everything spotlessly clean, and everything else you need, water points right behind us and things like that, you know. We do cater more for family type people. We're a family site. We look after everybody that comes onto the site. That's one of our main attitudes is it's family values. We do site every caravan. Julie will meet them at the office, I'll bring them up. We stay with everybody until they're happy. The facilities we are very proud of. We do keep them very, very clean and we are famous for them. Um, we have two toilet blocks, one for the campers and one for this area of the park with the electric. Um, we have um, ladies and gents with free showers, nice hot water, and we also have a, a family room. Um, so sometimes if people want to shower together, we've just said no giggling though, <laughs> or we'll know. Uh, and we also have a baby room as well with a proper baby's bath into the sink. Um, we also have um, a laundry room and um, I say the games room. We do not have any um, pubs or clubs on site because that's how everyone prefers it. Nice and quiet because in Buxton there's plenty of places to go there. We also have an arrangement with our local taxi firm so they can go in in a taxi or come home for £3.80 so we've got all eventualities covered. We do operate a no noise policy on site yeah, as well thing, yeah. so come 10 o'clock we have a patrol the site at 10 o'clock so there's no loud music after that. We don't, yeah. you don't stop people sitting outside having a talk to each other and a few yeah. drinks that's fine mm -hmm. but at 10 o'clock there's all loud music must stop and yeah. stuff like that and we do patrol again during the night mm -hmm. to make sure there's nobody disturbing other people. Yeah. We've got a play area as well which uh, is great for the young children and uh, we also have a little games room so if it's raining and the children want to chill out on their own they can come and play pool and you know and sometimes I'll make them drink in chocolate if they behave. <laughs> Um, we do try and make everyone feel welcome. We tour ourselves so we feel that we know what we expect from a, ca a caravan park and we, we like to think that we achieve that, and, um, which is uh, very important to us that everyone goes away happy. Well, Buxton itself is um, a, an old um, Victorian town, very beautiful and it's a little gem of a place. There's plenty to see and do in the area, lots of places to eat, drink and of interest as well for all age groups, children, older people, families. Um, we've got the most beautiful traditional Victorian park and most people um, will enjoy listening to a band on a Sunday afternoon with an ice cream. Um, we're also about um, half an hour away from Alton Towers and we've got lots of um, stately homes, Chatsworth being one of them, within a short drive from here. We first came here in May 2003, buying a little caravan, feeling sorry for someone because it was for sale, so we bought it and never caravaned in our lives. Came on site here and just thought, Ooh, we like this. We're not the type of caravanners who likes a lot of noise uh, and activity. And from that point of view, and it, because of its tranquility and peace and quiet, uh, it suits us fine. The atmosphere is good. There's a lot of people of our age group who come here and stop three or four days at a time. The site is spotlessly clean, the toilet facilities is good, and there's quite a few places of interest around the area that you can go to. Uh, we go into Leakin. Staffordshire, into Glossop, places like that. The Opera House in Buxton uh, puts on some great shows uh, and you haven't got far to go to get to them and the parking's very easy and the price is not bad and you see some really good artists that you'd have to go to London and pay expensive money for. Um, so we quite like it for that reason, really. We love it here. It's nice and peaceful, as you can see. <laughs> and um, 
we met a lot of friends here and we meet every week and you know it's lovely. Obviously we're surrounded by farmland here as you can see. The farm behind us is actually a rare breed farm and people on site are welcome to go and look around providing they're sensible and don't leave any gates open and stuff like that. The viaduct behind is reportedly built in the 1800s but with no exact date on it. That li line is still live. Freight trains go back and forth to the quarry about four or five times a day. But again, they're not disturbed any because there's a speed limit on the, on the line and stuff like that. But Buxton's reputedly the highest town, market town in England. So yeah. that's why it's, the air's always fresh up here. <laughs> so. yeah, I think we're both quite passionate about the place. Um, we love Buxton, we love working here. It's not really a job for us because we love the, the life that we have here. It's a lifestyle and uh, I don't think we could do it unless you felt passionate about it really. Um, we give 110% and thoroughly enjoy ourselves, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> People coming on, are coming on as friends more than anything else. Yeah and we do look after everybody, never, with nothing, any trouble to anybody on this side. So the next time you're travelling through the Derbyshire countryside or visiting the historic town of Buxton, why not stop by Lime Tree Park?